Hello! Today we are going to learn about sampling of continuous time signals. Sampling of continuous time signals actually gives us discrete discrete time signals. Well, discrete time signals can arise in many ways, but they occur most commonly as samples or representations of sampled continuous time signals well this uh, well uh, we we define a discrete time signal x of n as let x c be a uh, that x c of t be a continuous time signal we define a discrete time signal x of n as periodic samples of a continuous time sign, sign, continuous time signal x c of t sampled at every t after every t instance of time so our t now becomes the period of sampling and inverse of this f of s fs 1 by t becomes the frequency of sampling by the way uh, you can also represent frequency as omega of s that is 2 pi fs that is 2 pi by t and note that its units are radians per second so we are clear about this uh, we can draw a block diagram for this say let this be our, our say some black box we give a signal x c of t here c stands for continuous time signal so x c of t is a continuous time signal sampled at every t instance of time we get x of n uh, now we can write this as continuous to discrete converter also continuous oh, sorry also analog to digital converter can be said as an approximation of continuous to discrete converter the only difference here is digital convert in digital converter the output is quantized that means it can either be 1 or it can be 0 but in discrete time signal i mean in discrete time signal the the output is not quantized only the time is quantized it can i mean the samples are taken at every t instance of time but there is no constraint on what the output can be it can be 1 it can be 2 it can be 0 it can be 3 it can be 4 yeah now uh, let's let's oh let me check if this is in the frame yeah it is okay uh, oops Okay, uh, now let's put all of this mathematically. Say uh, this can be remodeled as uh, let this be your x c of t and every samples be s of t. I'll tell you what they are. s of t is basically impulses at every t after every t instance of time or an impulse train basically so we can write s of t as delta of 0 plus delta of nt plus uh, delta of t plus delta of 2t plus and so on even the negative side delta of minus t plus delta of minus 2t and so on up to infinity 
so you can write this basically sigma n equal to minus infinity to infinity delta of n sorry delta of t minus n t yeah put zero you get this put one you get that oops I made a blunder this should be suppose say this is zero this should be delayed with t right so it's t minus t it's t minus 2t t plus t plus and so on ah, my bad so if you put this here I mean if you sub keep substituting the values uh, you get this oh, this should be t yeah so this is basically r s of t and x c of t is r <coughs> continuous time signal let the output of this be x s of t now uh, this is basically a multiplier so we can write x s of t is this in the frame oh yeah okay I'll write it here mm. Oh yeah, uh, x s of t is equal to x c of t into s of t. Yeah, because I'll redraw this again here. This was basically a multiplier unit this was s of t and this was x c of t continuous time signal we get sampled x s of t so yeah this is basically it so and that x c of t into s of t was a summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity delta of t minus n t right and since there's no n over here we can directly we can take it into the summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity xc of t into del of t minus n t yeah we have this property x of t minus t sorry x of t into delta of t minus t naught will actually give us x of t naught into delta of t minus t naught yeah so applying the same property here it's called sifting property it's not shifting it's sifting sifting property so using the same property here we get this as summation n equal to minus infinity to infinity xc of nt into delta of t minus nt okay right let's uh, let's explain this say this is our signal okay and what we uh, and tb some like tbt okay and we are sampling at every t instance of time so this be zero so and these are impulses so the impulses at t 2t 3t 4t and so on yeah these are impulses so x s of t is a continuous signal is a continuous signal what x s of t looks like this 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 okay t 2 t 3 t and 4 t but one thing to note here is excess, excess of t is a continuous signal with imp, with impulses at t 2 t 3 t and 4 t we have to make this into a discrete signal a discrete signal looks like this this continuous but a discrete signal looks like this t 2 t 3 t 4 t so we have to make this into this so we so here we we pass excess of t into 
a block, a converter block which gives us x of n so this is x of n and this is x of x s of t so this is a continuous signal and this is a discrete signal that's all for this and remember you are phenomenal bye